Yum, yum! Hello everyone, Steve White for Pixel Fondue here on the new features in Marvelous Designer 8. I picked up Marvelous Designer last year and I cannot recommend this application enough to anyone that needs to do any type of cloth work in 3D. Not to mention this program is just a blast to use. Version 8 was recently released and contains some really nice new features that ease the workflow and give new flexibility in working with cloth in your projects. The first feature, and probably my favorite, is the ability to stitch your cloth objects in the 3D viewport. In previous versions of Marvelous Designer, you would have had to do your stitching in the pattern window, and when you have patterns which have been flipped or moved around to various sides of your avatar or base mesh, it was often confusing to figure out which direction to stitch your pieces together, and you could often end up with flipped seams which could create a mess when the cloth was simulated. Now stitching is very intuitive by stitching directly in the 3D viewport. This alone has been worth the upgrade for me. Next up is the new auto retopo remeshing. By default, Marvelous Designer creates your cloth objects with triangles, and while you previously had the option of converting to quad geometry, the resulting mesh was an irregular pattern of quads with varying flows of direction. Now in the newest version, Marvelous has a new remeshing algorithm which will create a very consistent grid of evenly sized quad polygons. Even though it is a new feature in Marvelous Designer 8, it is still being labeled with a beta title. Currently it works very well and is very fast depending on the resolution of your mesh, uh, but being in beta still means it could even get better. Another new feature in version 8 is the ability to import geometry from another 3D app as cloth and automatically create patterns from the object's UV map. The islands of the UV map will show up as patterns in your pattern window. You could import geometry before as cloth instead of making it directly in Marvelous Designer, but there would be no pattern to edit. This is a really useful feature to have, especially if you're simulating a cloth-based object such as a balloon or other inflatable object. Also new in Marvelous Designer 8 is the ability to import your character object and have Marvelous automatically create your arrangement points. Arrangement points are points that are associated with the bounding volumes of the object that allow you to place your cloth objects around your mesh with a single click of the points, making stitching your patterns even easier. And finally, Marvelous Designer 8 has added a sculpting system. While Marvelous Designer works very well with ZBrush, and I would probably do most of my sculpting there, you now have the option of fine-tuning the final look of your cloth directly in Marvelous Designer. The sculpting brushes include a general sculpting brush, a smooth brush, grab brush, stamp, which uses an image or an alpha much like the drag rectangle tool works in ZBrush. Keep in mind that most any detail you sculpt in Marvelous Designer will be lost during a cloth simulation, but the sculpting tools can help you art direct the final look of the cloth by not relying solely on the cloth solver to give you the look you're after. Yum, yum!